Hey, what's going on guys? It's Get This Here 101 and today I just finished building my computer. So here it is and here's the tour of my desktop. Uh, you guys requested this so let's get started. We just take off these thumb screws right here. Oh wait, before we get there, let me guys show you the tour and the outside of it. <laughs> Sorry for that. So let me take you down from here. And here we have my HAF922 computer case from Cooler Master. There's the logo right there. Looks pretty nice. It has a mesh there, a fan there, and a fan here. And here are the buttons to it. And I have... So let me just give you guys a tour. This is the front. This is the back. And the back of it. Sorry, the back, which is right here. And we have our wireless card right here. Not really a card, but a USB. And my motherboard connections. And my power supply and a bunch of Christmas lights. Uh, I'll get to that in a sec. So let's open this baby up. And voila! Beautiful, man. Okay, so where should we start, man? Okay, so here we have um, my Intel Core i5 Quad Core. It is the 760 model. We also have my ATI Radeon 4650 graphics card. Uh, and behind those, we have my motherboard. This is the Asus P7P55D ELX. Uh, don't ask me why I remember that. I researched this on a lot. Um, oh, here it is right there. So you guys can see it right there. And we also have 8 gigs of RAM. So two sticks of 4 gigs. And these are Corsair DDR3 1300 MHz. Uh, here we also have my power supply. This is the Corsair CX600. 600 watts. More than what I need, but I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I'm looking to upgrade my graphics card as well as my CPU cooler, so I'm going to definitely need that 600 watts of power. So why don't you guys stay tuned for those upgrades. And we also have here, we have a toolless slot. I love these. What it does is you press it and then a pin goes through and it will clamp your optical drive into it. So here I have two optical drives. Let me guys show you in the front. If we look at the front here, my first optical drive would be a Blu-ray reader. This optical drive only reads Blu-ray and DVDs, so sadly it doesn't write anything. And then next up we have my writer. So it does light scribe, it writes DVDs, uh, reads DVDs and all that. I have, um, just to mention, I have all the specifics in my description below so you guys can check it out and see what's exactly in my computer with all the model numbers and stuff. Here we have another tool list for my hard drives. If I take this out right here, we have a Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, 32 megabytes of cache. Not sure what it's called, I think Caviar Blue, but yeah, don't know. So let's put that back in. Love this tool list thing. Don't need any screws or screwdrivers. Uh, we have a fan right here. Now this fan is a um, clear fan and it has a red LED and you can also control this from the top up here. Just press in for on or press for off and it lights up super red here. It looks really nice. I'll have that in my desk tour if you guys want to see it. And um, what else do I have to tell you guys? Oh yeah, last thing I have which is Christmas lights. Um, so I kind of modded my case or tricked out my case because I didn't want to spend any money. I just took a bunch of Christmas lights I have hanging around and I kind of routed it up all the way to here into the cooling tube and it comes from here all the way down to the bottom and to the top. So when this is on at night, it lights up pretty nice. It's rainbowish, but you can see inside. And one of the downsides to it, not for me because I like color, but for some other people, is when you turn on this red LED fan, it kind of turns pinkish with all these rainbow colors. And I think it looks pretty nice. And just without the LED on for the fan, these light it up pretty good. Alright, so that was my room. My, that was a tour of my desktop. I hope you guys liked it. This is Get This Here 101. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please give it a thumbs down and please tell me why. And subscribe for any future content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.